Hi Job Seekers, James here from The Candidate Coach and I hope you're getting a lot of value out of our march towards a new job with 30 tips in 30 days. Well, this week is resume week. We're gonna give you one tip every day on how you can improve your resume and I'm gonna try and come up with some tips that are outside of the ordinary because you don't want the boring things that everybody else has been telling you. The first thing I wanna do though is I wanna ask you a question. How long do you think somebody actually looks at your resume for before they decide whether to move on to the next one or to keep reading? Have a think. How long for? Five minutes. Two minutes. Now I've heard it's less than two minutes. One minute? Is it 30 seconds? Well, the answer is on your screen now. It is less than seven seconds. Here's the article, if you don't believe me, and here is the link. So, what does that mean for us? It probably means we feel pretty disheartened and pretty disappointed about the whole system. But you can make this work for you. The first thing that you need to do is get your resume, put it face down, get a stopwatch, press go, turn your resume over, look at it for seven seconds, and then put it back down. What information did you get off that resume in the first seven seconds? Did you get the key details? Did you get your key achievements? We're gonna talk about achievement-based resumes all through this week and all through the month. Did those achievements pop out in seven seconds? Is your best information on page two? I hope not. So, you need to design your resume that the best information is easy to digest very, very quickly. Clear headings, section titles, things in bold, dot points are easy to read, don't be too cluttered. This is a short video, so I can't go every, through everything that you need, but think about the seven second rule. Make your resume punchy, make it jump off the page. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow for another resume tip during March towards a new job.